Gabe, I have been walking around calling you my husband since the day you proposed to me. Today this dream finally comes true. Today I get to marry you. From the time I met you around eight years ago, I've constantly craved more time and communication with you. The more I've gotten to know you and the more time I spend with you, I realize how selfless of a person you truly are. You find absolute joy in putting other people before yourself. Your heart is so passionate about making a difference in the lives of others, and you show kindness to all people when majority of the world shows judgment. Jess, when I think back on our relationship, it almost doesn't feel real. You have loved me through every stage of life. When I was an innocent Bible college student, a struggling nonprofit worker, and now in my unemployment. <laughs> as I have changed, your love has stayed the same. I have loved you as a community college student, a studious nursing school student, a brand new ICU nurse who cried before and after every shift, and now as a superhero in a global pandemic. As you have changed, I have only loved you more. You're afraid, but you can hear it vents. I got that part. <laughs> I remember the numerous times I watched you engaged in harmless conversations with people in our back alley at our last apartment. People who were just looking for a place to rest. You would approach them with water and snacks and a welcoming attitude. I helped you rummage through your closet when someone wanted a warm pair of pants in the winter. All I could think about during these moments was how I longed for my heart to be more like yours. It's an effect you have on people. It's something I love so much about you. The way you make me want to do better and to be better. As your wife, I promise to choose you every day. I will believe in you even when you may lack the faith to believe in yourself. I vow to be by your side throughout all the trials that come our way in this life. I also vow to do better at watching the Cubbies win or lose with you and to become a more authentic fan. That's good. <laughs> I cannot wait to grow with you in this commitment to one another, but also in our commitment to Jesus. Gabe, I am so in love with you. Here's to spending the rest of our life together. I love you. I love you too. You've made promises of faith and devotion to each other and have sealed these promises with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gabe, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>
love how you sleep with your mouth open. <laughs> how you cry when you see injustice because you wish that you could change it. How you buy a book, read a chapter, and then never touch it again. <laughs> how you stand up for those who are being taken advantage of. How you start off your critical statements of me with, I love you, but and how you love your family more than anything in the world. If I get to the end of my life and I've not accomplished my hopes and dreams, it will still have been a good one because I'll have spent it with you. You are more than enough. I promise to always lift you up. I promise to empower you and encourage you. I promise to be patient with you. I promise to defend you and always have your back. I promise to take your side even when you're wrong. <laughs> I promise to laugh with you. I promise to choose you. You are the smell before rain. You are the blood in my veins. I'm going to love you forever. <laughs>